Although wala na nato na appeal ang CSS3 sa top 5 na tong uh, features ng anong HTML5 rocks. CSS3 is still very very worthy of one kanang presentation. Ngayon naman, uh, CSS3 oh, by the way, uh, HTML5 is equal to HTML plus JavaScript API nga bago ng codes and of course CSS3 from the previous CSS2 to CSS3, daghan kay tag na puno nga features. So, CSS3, by the way, for those who do not know, is ka lang, uh, means cascading style sheets. So, partnered with HTML and, of course, uh, JavaScript or PHP, we create a very beautiful uh, website, web page. So, I'm just gonna run through the basic features. I'm not gonna go down to the nitty gritty of this stuff. So here's uh, here it is. Uh, CSS selectors. So there are new CSS selectors. For example, uh, given this the nth child or nth child odd or even. So we can specify if we want them uh, the backgrounds. Okay, so we can specify specific uh, backgrounds kung sa mong ganahan. So, for example, kung ganahan nga table, pwede nyo i-specify nga kung even, uh, the even mga koan, parts kina in-ani nga background. Some some kind of gray. And then, white sa uban. Sa odd. So, selectors. Input type text. So, ang tanan text kay dapat ano yung background. Sa tara, negation just gonna run through so web fonts of course very important web fonts uh tax wrapping uh when we create forms usually uh so karaang css it's more complex but here in css3 we have text o text overflow ellipsis so this is shown sa kaning third na form so this line of code tells us that if mo overflow overflow ang aton tax sa ato ang form then write the ellipses so sometimes if we just leave that we, just, we don't write this manginani ang masuwat so straight lang siya like what we do in notepad for example so the next kaya siya is word wrapping okay then also we can create sliders uh, columns. Columns are also very important, like Word. Ah, sa Word, Microsoft Word. So, ma apply na natin na dire. So, very, very intuitive. Ang ato ang CSS3. Okay, text strokes. Ah, uh, usually we create them with Photoshop. Ah, uh, malugi siguro ang Adobe sa HTML5. So, we have text strokes very easy opacity so uh, the sliders are created using javascript but uh, ang codes and in is basically css3 uh, part or package part and parcel of html5 then of course un saturation luminance colors so basically formatting siya colors to make uh, more beautiful websites more websites nga mo suits ilang function okay uh, also rounded corner so we have discussed this at top 5 uh, talking about SVG and uh, vector graphics canvas so create the rounded corners so kita mo si Doraemon chidara <laughs> so kanisha different lang nga mga rectangles then gi sign so basically it's SVG graphic like happen of course gradients so it's pr pretty easy to do and na siya mga codes ah by the way tanang kani siya nga slides gi kani siya sa html5rocks.com so if you are inter interested to grab the slides and one it comes with a code man so you can study the codes and 
ka na apply din ato sa ato ang mga websites nga button. Okay, shadows. Tara, so you can explore. It's at web 2.0, so like this. Mga logo creators. So, na natin mga reflections. It's pretty intuitive yun. Um, background enhancers. So, contain, cover, and 100% is kinang sakto lang git siya. We can also resize this if you want to. It's pretty uh, cool. Next, flexible box models. So, there. And then, same screen. Uh, transitions. This is very important because uh, usually in uh, HTML4, we implement flash based uh, flash based objects in our websites to create transitions but here in HTML5 uh, with the help of CSS and JavaScript uh, we can already perform the transitions so there left, right left, right and given this we have one second ease in to out so we can move it like we do like what we do in flash uh, transformation so yeah basically this is some cool stuff that you can do then of course animations very very uh, timely uh, in this era of multimedia so animations are very important in our websites so here we go. So that's all for CSS.